I was in my senior high school in an English class and on May 17, 1954, the gong sounded for the public address system and the principal came on and said to us, Brown versus Board of Education has been decided and in essence the schools will be desegregated. My English teacher stood for a second with a tear in her eye and she said, now I can retire in peace. Oh, I remember uh, it was uh, headlines on the, in the Afro-American newspaper back in Baltimore. It was big news. I do remember that it was an issue that was talked about uh, from time to time in school uh, by the teachers. And uh, so it was something that we knew about, something that we knew was important, and something that was hailed as a, a great thing. I read it in the newspapers. I was in my second year of law school at the University of Washington Law School. I don't remember my constitutional law professor even discussing it. So I did not learn about the Brown decision from law school. I learned it from popular reading. I remember my family, my mother and my father, um, talking about something I now recognize as Brown. I can't say I remember it as Brown, but it was quite a topic to talk about around the dinner table. Uh, Brown is probably the classic case, other than Roe v. Wade, of the court making a, a strong uh, and clear decision, even in contentious times. Uh, after Chief Justice Earl Warren was able to cobble together a unanimous decision, uh, there were calls for his uh, impeachment. Uh, there were death threats. Uh, there was the Southern Manifesto. The Southern congressmen said they would resist it by any means necessary. Governor Faubus uh, in Ar Ar Arkansas stood in the door, wouldn't let black children come into Central High School. Governor Wallace said segregation today, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever. And you know, the impact of it isn't so much its impact on school desegregation, where I think it hasn't been an overwhelming success. Um, but more on how it spawned this whole movement to utilize the law for a positive social change and the way in which uh, that sort of galvanized the, the uh, civil rights movement and the women's rights movement and all of these other sort of major uh, uh, social change movements in the United States. Well, it, it clearly was the case that ignited the modern civil rights movement and so it opened up doors of opportunity not only in education but in the legal profession and I do not believe that we would have as diverse a legal profession today uh, if we didn't have the Brown decision. My view of it was about bringing people together and so I, I guess in that sense now that you brought it up um, it would be the fairness and, and the equal justice for, for people within the courts one of the most positive uh, decisions ever made by the Supreme Court and we need to celebrate its legacy not just on the 50-year anniversary but every year 